the straight 68 for Buhai in contention again. The defending champ, Jennifer Kupcho, at the first. Well, in this first hole causes a few problems. It's a it's a shortish hole, but it does play quite uphill to the green, but that's gaining a lot. 69 on the for Kupcho. She is in contention again. Ayaka Fudaway seems like she's in contention every week. Here's her approach to the first. Well, you can see how shallow that shot does come into the green because you're well below the green. Ayaka Fudaway again. This for birdie at the fourth. And we saw this a lot yesterday, just putting a pure roll on her putts. She'd go on to shoot 67. We're still able to get some good that spin took her on to it. Nine under. How about the big hitting Belgian Manon de Roy at the 18th? Well, and she's got to be loving this golf course because the driver stays in your hands around this whole course. 65, the low round of... Hoping to get this up and in for a birdie. Eight feels like a must birdie, doesn't it? If not better. Now, Minji Lee, second at nine. This is a seven iron. She put it perfectly in the fairway. You can really see why she was a little disappointed with that chip because she's having to work hard for that birdie. Oh, no problem. This is Charlie Hall, bunker shot to this point, so this is for birdie. Oh. This is exactly where she starts. Back over to nine, Minji for birdie. That's a great look, right up the hill. Yeah. Eva Wright. Yeah, okay, so she made the bogey. Cheyenne Knight. 175 yards to the hole. Wind blowing mostly left to right. That's a six iron. Yeah. Be pretty close to where Minji Lee just made her birdie putt from. Birdie putt. We've seen that before here. Most definitely. Right around, maybe just outside that cut line. Let's go to 18. And an eagle attempt from just off the front from Aria Chitanagar her ninth hole of the day. Right on the cut line, not anymore. Aria Chitanagar. About 20 to get it to the putting surface and then let it release. That was really good by Nasa. I think she's going to carry it on the green, but she could treat it kind of like a bump and run if she wanted to. Over at the par 5 8, this is Carlota Seganda for an eagle. Here comes Carlota. She made an eagle at the fourth. A few weeks ago in Florida. Ninji Lee for birdie. And Ninji Lee at this scorecard last half hour or so. Always difficult to get enough distance out of it when you're having to grip so much down the shaft because of the lie. Last year? I always think that's one of her real strengths around the greens. Lindsay Weaver right. That's good to sit. Yep. Played as Lindsay Weaver for a, a number of years before marrying Zach Wright on the LPGA. But there was so much around Minji. Yeah. She got it done. And then she goes to the big one, the U.S. Women's Open with that inflated purse and just plays some of the best golf we've seen. Seganda finds the green there. Close did she come and just couldn't win and now two years in a row. For a par. Yeah, breaking through and winning the Mundi Evian Championship. Uh, which was such a breakthrough for her because it, it was a lot of chatter about it. a good run in the Bank of Hope LPGA match play. Just in the quarterfinals there, we mentioned the uh, the win on the ladies' European tour. Still sounded weird to say she won an LET event in Florida. Yeah, I mean, they've played 
haven't they, the last several seasons, one of the Aramco Team Series events in the United States. It was quite controversial. Peter Goodfield. Jaya Knight on the tee at the 11th. That was an eight iron Tom. A little bit of wind helping from the left to right. Yeah, smart play there, Kay, from what we've seen in the group ahead. A great chance to win last year at the ShopRite LPGA Classic right around this time in the calendar. That event was played last week. She finished just outside of the top 20. Stay seven under par. It's one of those putts that looks like it goes one way from one side and the other way from the other side. So close to coming back into the hole at the end. This group right now is a little cold collectively with the putters. Bogey at 11 or second at the 12th. She has 118 to the front, a little bit of a helping wind. You don't want to hit it past this whole location today, so I would think she's looking at the front. Looks like she got a great bounce. Sure did, getting close to the hole. It's a 12, and Nasa second. Similar yardage to Menji looking again. Looks like a great shot. Over at the 18th third for another teenage major champion. Hyoju Kim was 19 when she won Evian back in 2014. I missed it, and now she has a chance to make the bounce back birdie. She had three three putts yesterday. Good to see her make that one. Back to seven under, which is tied for eight at the moment. Almost impossible to get up at and down. 10. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a player who's played well here at Blythe Build. Maguire. Let's see if she gets this right. Yes, she does. Very nice. Just sit down now. And that will be a chance. This is Lindsay Weaver Wright. It's been uh, an eventful hour or so for her. This is her third at the 10th, par 5. She made bogey at seven, but looked more disgusted with the three-putt par at eight. Uh, what you said comes true here with Saganda, Karen. Well, she's from the rough. She's got more grass underneath it than Lydia had. Played a fuller shot, but... There you go. You, I mean, it has, it has to be so precise. So Lindsay Weaver-Wright was in the position that you think is more advantageous in two at ten. Left herself this for birdie. I mean, you, you have a chance to, to put it into that spot. I mean, you have the whole green to use. You don't have to deal with chance for Stacy. Some work to do here over the next hour and a half or so for Brooke Henderson. I'm going to see if she can get this gap wedge in tight and yeah, pretty good. I really like what NASA did with where she positioned that ball on the tee. She chose a cut of grass. Critical. We'll watch that as the day goes along. 11. Yeah, a couple of runner-up finishes for Leona Maguire the last two years. Finished at 23 under par the year that Nelly won. And um, any other year, that yeah. would have been good enough to win. The Canadians are a tight bunch. Very supportive of each other. Oh, a birdie! It only took 12 holes. Nasa here at 13. No. After that really good tee shot there. Not able to convert. That was a good look, Angela. Like uh, the Zurich event on the PGA Tour. Very much like Very that. Similar. Now, Minji just cleaning up. All right, here's Leona McGuire. And a birdie for Leona. 11 under par, Karen. Just a second ago at the 14th, the Netherlands' Davy Weber. Second year player on tour. And a, an eagle three. This is the Aeon Risk Reward Challenge hole, and who knows?
Oh, look at this one. Oh, Sue reminds you a little bit of home back right in Ireland. The there we go. Oh, this one could be very, very good indeed. Comfortable here. Should be fairly straightforward from here. You can play this with like a, like a gap wedge, knock it down, get it to release. She won twice at the end of 2016. Have to kind of get it up in the air to begin with, and I'm not sure all three of these girls are up. waiting. Minji for birdie. Yeah, and I don't know why Lydia didn't cut out. If she, I feel like she's extremely close to the hole. I and mean, I was shocked to see her marking that ball. I, I thought she'd just put out. And from then on, it changed. She got back out on the turn. She was off to the races. Minji now. A little heavy handed there. Six under 15. Minji Lee to save par. Okay. We're back at the 12th, and this is the second for Pernilla Lindbergh. This is Pernilla Lindbergh at the 12th. Okay. With the great moments. Minji Lee, her second at 16. With the uphill, it's playing 131. This is a wedge, and that was much higher than her playing competitors. Yeah, really good. Yeah, and I think the thing that gives her an advantage, I've been very impressed with how high she hits her ball. Those greens are going to be firm. Height is going to be an advantage. And the putter. <laughs> Third shot for Carlota Seganda at the 14th. Back to Ted O at the end of last year and still working with Ted. Seganda for Birdie. 15. Fiona for Birdie. Yeah. Well, she's creeping up there. She's going to have to figure out how to get it on the green and keep it from going left. Oh, wow. What a nice bounce. That is very favorable for her. And obviously, again, you can feel the wind. Just wanted to make sure she had the proper wedge. There's a shot. I'm going to give you the chance to get it to nine under par. Leona McGuire on a heater. Four straight birdies to move into the top ten. just simply asked how far those courses were playing and honestly I can I can say it because I've done it when I'm struggling with my golf swing I can get away with it with my wedges and she has Lydia has one of the best short games in the world but I just think it can get exposed when you have to hit your driver you have to hit mid to long irons and again I'm saying it because anytime I'm swinging bad I'm just I can't wait to get a wedge in my hand Loves this play. 17. Minji for birdie. Yeah. Got it. That was just textbook the way she played that hole. It's the most difficult hole on the golf course. She rips the driver in the perfect spot. Now McGuire for a fifth straight birdie. Oh. I would chalk that down to things that you are most unlikely to see. Ligona McGuire. Missing a putt. But I didn't miss them. You know, the great ones would uh, come up with some way to Could deflect. <laughs> yeah. Worked out for him okay. Yeah. Cheyenne second. Oh, she was right on the edge of having the trees in her way, but worked that nice little fade off a downhill lie. Piece off the green. It's going to be a pitch for Gyoju. Yeah, this whole location on the sixth is on that sort of back. 
half of the green. It's a big dog leg round to the right, the six. Can be an awkward tee shot. Anybody's going to be able to jump out the pack and separate themselves. Come Sunday, I think we're going to be in for a really tight race again. Head five tied for the lead. Yesterday's opening round. Talking to it. Bit of 16. The second for Lindsay Weaver Wright. Hitch for her third at the par five as we go back to 17. Cheyenne Knight for par. Okay. This birdie opportunity, but still four at 17 is a good score today. So, gives the players a, a good look at this one. It's going to be really nice. So, here's your Kim will have a putt to get it to 10 under and within. Just a moment ago, over at the par 5 14th, Wailing Shi. Right, so she moves to six under for the tournament. Pitch that she could make, Angela. Absolutely. You could tell by the way she hit it, she was trying to make it. A little aggressive. <laughs> at the 16th, Lindsay Weaver Wright. For birdie. Flummoxed. Just flummoxed. Didn't really have much of a, of a chance. I mean, that was always going to break quite a bit to the right. We ranked player in the world. Birdie putt here for Hyoju. Very good tee shot and just a simple birdie putt. So. It may start out fairly straight. And then just turn to her right a little bit. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a great round, and it's hard to end that way for Menji. 237 to the hole, wind hurting a little. Oh, she crushed that one. Woo! Oh, that was oh, one yeah. of her best swings of the day, and, and right when she needed it. Takes that uh, barrier away. away. All right, here is the tap-in birdie to make the weekend for Brooke. For the lead. I don't say that with everybody, but uh, Jim with her short game. Let's see. No, now she's... Very nice. She will head to T at the 18th. With the way it looks right now, depending on what future Kim does. Ocean. Already a minute or so past our scheduled end to the broadcast. We're going to uh-huh. <laughs> Here she is again. Second the last two years, and she's within one. Carlota Seganda from just off the front. For Eagle. Tie the lead as well if it's to go in. And here you Kim. And a chance to save par one off the low round of the day. So Yan Yu. This is the birdie putt for Carlota Seganda to make it four players at 10 under. Six and a half years since she last won on the LPGA. Now there comes a point when you're traveling across the Pacific. That's a really tough time change to adjust to and then playing three straight weeks. And that is a nice way to finish here.